We hear it. We hear it. Uh, we hear it. Texas Instruments at Mobile World Congress. And here, this is a reference to the uh, device, right? Uh, yes, this is the uh, OMAP 3630 Zoom 3. Uh, the right sensor here changes the, uh, the texture of the home replacement. It's, uh, it's an Android uh, home screen replacement system for the colors change based on the uh, your widgets and also launching applications. Uh, it runs alongside the standard uh, Android home screen. Uh, just, uh, and the sensor on the back actually uh, attracts it. Yes. Differentiate and rapidly deploy. Of course, the accelerometer is, you know, does uh, implement uh, device. You know, reading motion. Uh, this is based on the whole yeah, it's it's uh, show it? uh, uh, The first time we showed it on Android uh, yeah. 2.0. The haptics here enhances uh, the uh, tactility based on the second, you know, when the balls hit the side of the This is like a full 3D kind of home desktop for Android. That's true, yeah. Uh, so we used to control the whole what, screen, what can you do with all this? And so this is the uh, UI that was implemented um, you know, by Alloy and THP. You managed pictures? So, as you can see, yeah, you know, this, the, is, uh, uh, this is a, uh, you know, the underlying 3D graphics, graphics uh, really enhances the, the visual you know, cool. appeal. So this is integrated well with, with, uh, with the standard you know, Android your finger, uh, but also the lighting system, as well as moving So we can load a picture and it goes into the standard Android application. That's highlighting just a, that's just a zoom an icon, you know, around. Yeah. yeah. Ah, zooming in scroll. That's a special well, interface for zooming as well? Yeah, that's just part of the standard Android yeah, application. Ah, okay. uh, you yeah. can use yeah. our, uh, our menuing system to access yeah. everything. So, so this is just in click on something that you get into your home replacement somehow. Yes. It's not an app, it's a home replacement. It's, it's an application that yeah. runs integrated. And it's just the device. So you have access to the. Also, uh, to your widgets, you know, the back, uh, widgets, to, uh, uh, the back of the widget applications to be used to launch them. How many applications do you put down there? You just choose just whatever, whatever's on the device. So, yeah. It will pick it up. With the so, uh, when, back sensor, when are you going to make that available? You can also How add make it available? It's still going to be for free for everybody to download the marketplace, right? Uh, no, that's and right. The lighting, it's, uh, you know, so the technology uh, itself is available. Let, um, that's that's finger graphics. Graphics. Yeah. So as you run your finger over certain icons that have stars on them, you can actually um, open up a preview oh. down at the bottom, so this if helps with here, you know, reducing yeah, clutter yeah. on your screen, right? And also, you can also use the back to, to launch your application. The UIs themselves, so if you want to really have a look at the laptop, uh, yeah. today's, uh, these are, the UIs are constructed just in a drag and drop design. It's single-handedly. And also, uh, you know, design 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 design. Design. Yeah. Uh, it really enhances so the We have the photo uh, picker that you can see earlier, and it's deployed along a path. And then to the right, we have a preview with the contextual UIs in the middle. Massive What's the software? Yeah, yes. uh, this is just uh, it's just uh, uh, the environment in the inside of Eclipse. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, and uh, so some kind of uh, you open that thing. Uh -huh. and it's you provide this to the developers. Or yeah, it's uh, open or not really? Yeah, we can as part of the product. And, uh, the UIs themselves are then extracted, exported from the uh, software, and uh, can be placed on the device to run. It means that the application uh, is uh, code. Any of the uh, detailed transitions. Yeah, that's, that's right. So any uh, OMAP-based. Uh, I'm not sure if the Droid has 3D acceleration, but yeah. any of these OMAP-based Android devices could add it. But it's a, it's a licensing issue. Or it's, uh, well, it's it's fully uh, portable to any uh, operating system. It comes out of the box for Android yeah. Eclair, but also Linux and uh, Nucleus Artos, um, and um, it can be. It supports all processor architectures, uh, ARM, PowerPC, MIPS. So, you know, as long as your device on the Android side is running Donut or Eclair. But you need the 3D acceleration. Yeah, for Eclair, yeah, and it yeah. comes pre integrated with that, so you don't need to do any integration. Uh, but does the Droid have that? Uh, the Droid is Donut, I think, so no, it doesn't have any acceleration. But the next next devices that come out with 3D acceleration yes. can just have that. can just use it. They, right. There's no problem. Needed, yes. no, uh, yeah. needed to, How much more battery does it take to do all the three D animations and the uh, screen? Well, yeah, I mean that, that's a hardware consideration. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a little bit more than the normal desktop. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be, but because you're running, yeah, you're running an extra processor to take the, uh, take the strain off the standard CPU, but uh, uh, nothing that compromises the device battery life uh, too much. Okay, thanks.